This video will show you how to import a page from another NovaChat vocabulary into the vocabulary file that you are using. First, you need to unlock your device. So select Menu, Unlock, type in your password, select OK, and select No. Then you need to select Menu again, and we will go into edit mode, so select the edit mode button. Next, we need to select pages. Now, select the menu button again, and when the menu comes up, we're going to select import. Scroll through to find the vocabulary that has your page that you are looking for. Mine is in Lauren Word Power 20 simply. I'm going to select that user and on the right side you will see a list of pages has come up. Scroll through these pages which are in alphabetical order until you find the page that you want to import. The one that I am looking for is a people page because I customized it to have photos on it. Use the check mark box to mark the page or pages that you would like to import. Once you have selected all the pages that you would like to import, select the import button. The NovaChat will take a moment to import these pages. Then you can edit your buttons to link the page that you have just added. So I'm going to go to people and I'm going to edit the school people page by holding down the button, selecting edit button, and I'm going to go over to the actions tab. I'm going to select navigate because I want to change the page that it navigates to. Instead of navigating to teachers, I want it to navigate to the page I just imported. I can select set and a list of pages will pop up. Again, scroll through the pages, which are in alphabetical order, until you find the one that you just imported. This is the one that I copied. Select it and select OK. Select Save and select Save again. Now when I select the School People button, you will see it will navigate to this page. There's the page that I imported. If I want to change this page to match the grid size of the other ones in this vocabulary, I can select Menu, and I can select Edit Page. At the top, I can select Layout, and I can change the number of rows and the number of columns to match the vocabulary that I have. I'm currently using a 6 by 10 grid, so that's what I will set this to. Once you have set your grid size with your rows and your columns, select Save. You will now see that extra rows and columns have been added to this page. If I want to move any of these buttons around, I can drag and drop them to the place where I want them to go. When you are all done editing your page, select Menu, select Edit Mode, and be sure to lock the device. 